Hi, I'm Ryan Hollins. I'm seven feet, 240 pounds. I'm a leader. I'm a hard worker. I had to work for everything that I have. I love to do things the right way. I love to give back. I love to be being selfless. I have a huge heart when I play the game of basketball that I love. You see it on the court. You see it in every play, every practice, and that's who I am. Basketball gave me something to shoot for, something to achieve, something to, to love. It was always in my head. So that just you know, pretty much kept me out the streets. So the times I was in the streets, I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna be out here acting up. I have a, you know, a future ahead. So basketball gave me a life to look forward to. Growing up in Pasadena was tough. There are many snares just as anywhere else. You know, drugs, violence, gangs. I was definitely blessed and fortunate to be able to get out and, you know, kind of work through those, get over those obstacles with a, with a great support system around myself. Through my years at John Muir, I went from literally a guy who was the worst guy in the program, didn't make the team, didn't make the squad, and by the end of my senior year, the best player, one of the best players to ever play at John Muir High School. And I'm so thankful of the opportunity to have failed, to have gone against that tragedy and turned it in triumph. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm the man I am today because I was cut that day. Because every time I got on the court, it was about hard work, it was about excellence, it was about bettering myself. Even when I had a little bit of success, it still wasn't enough and I continued to work. My legacy at UCLA, uh, when I look back, it'll be a guy that worked hard. A guy that grew from a boy to a man, from a member of the team to the, the leader of the team. You know, my dad always taught me to leave things better than they were when you first got there. There's nothing that can break me because of what I had to do to succeed. I'm the man I am today because I went to UCLA and went through that. 50th pick in the 2006 draft, uh, Ryan Hollins to the Charlotte Bobcats. I was all the way away from home. I've been home my whole life. I love every bit of Charlotte. You know, that was my first taste of the NBA. Halfway through the season, I was traded to Dallas where I got my first taste of the playoffs. It was an exciting moment. And from there, I went on to Minnesota. And then from Minnesota, I went on to play at Cleveland, a very, very prideful city. Then from Cleveland, I went to Boston. And this changed my, my life, my career, my whole outset on, on basketball, the pride, the tradition, everything that the Boston Celtics uh, had to offer in Coach Doc Rivers. And you know, from that, to come all the way back home with the Los Angeles Clippers. I had the opportunity to be reunited with my coach in the Boston Celtics, Doc Rivers. and. Uh, you know, stories yet to be told. The lob, the jam from Willie Green to Ryan Hollins. And the bench is going crazy. First time I get to LA, our first trip, our first games, we ship off to China. So while in Beijing, we go to the Great Wall of China. So I'm sitting there looking around with my teammates and I, and I look out, I'm like, man, this is, this is amazing. This, this is life right here. And, and I really had to sit back and, and slow down finally and say, Wow, this little game of basketball that I started playing in the backyard took me all the way to China, halfway around the world. And people know my name. They're, they're wearing our jerseys. They're, they're playing with the team. I'm signing autographs. I mean, they're taking pictures. So just, just this opportunity just hit me and said, wow, this little round ball has really done wonders for myself. Being a Los Angeles Clipper is huge. So stepping into those shoes is, is unreal. So every time that I make that walk through Staples Center, every time that I, uh, you know, I step in, I see my name across that jersey. I mean, I just have a hometown pride for Pasadena, for Los Angeles, for everything that I grew up in. Taking that into effect, it's everything to me and it's a part of success. I feel like the NBA is an honor, but beyond that honor, I'm representing my hometown my people, I'm not, I'm not just playing for any people, I'm playing for my people, what I grew up watching, what I grew up seeing, you know, representing my people every time that I step on the court. You know, I see the opportunity that basketball has given me to, you know, give back to my city. When I made the decision to come back to John Muir High School and, you know, throw my basketball camp, I didn't expect it, but I had probably the most rewarding time working with the kids, exchanging life lessons. I had to look up and realize that I'm that Jacques Vaughn now. I'm that Stacy Augman. I'm that 
Jackie Robinson, you know, coming out of John Mayer High School. I was once that camper, I've seen everything come around full circle, so this was my little piece to give back to them, to give back to Pasadena, to give back to myself. As a veteran in the NBA, I had to start looking past basketball. So in my eighth year, I had the opportunity to help open a restaurant, Home Beverly Hills. In addition to that, pursue a career in broadcasting, talk basketball, the game I love, and uh, get paid to do it. Fox Sports West has allowed me to do some TV things, gave me the opportunity to blog. I've been able to do some radio for ESPN 710. Being able to brand myself while playing to set myself up for after basketball, uh, building that legacy and having those opportunities. Aside from basketball, I'm a real tech guy. So I love to see the new video games, the new gadgets, any of the new technologies that I can get my hands on or, or use, I mean, I love it. I'm a huge Madden guy, 2K, and whatever new game may be, you know, I love to get out and uh, you know experience it and try it out. I want people to know that there's more to Ryan Hollins than just the athlete you see on the floor. I'm a family man and a great father at that a member of the community, just like anybody else. I really love to give back and to give what was once given to me. I'm so appreciative of the opportunities that I've had and the people that have helped me grow, from uh, my parents to the mentors and whatnot. I wanna thank everybody for that and know that I'm working hard to better myself and everybody around me. That's who Ryan Hollins is.